Welcome to another studio tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to group elements and provide examples of when grouping elements will come in handy. As you can see I have six elements on my web page right now and if we look over here in the layers panel we can see these six elements inside of this base layer. So nothing is grouped yet and as we've seen in previous videos if I click on one of these elements I can change the justification of all of these elements or I can change the alignment to align top, uh, middle, or bottom. And I can also change the direction, so from bottom to top. If I switch down, I can go from top to bottom. But every single element inside of here has to respect the same properties. You can't change the direction independent of each other. So how do we do this? If we want to have, let's say, these three boxes over here on the right side and these three boxes on the left side, so there's an easy way to group elements. If we just hold down Shift and we select the elements we want to group, now we can hold down Command G or Control G on the windows and we can see that these three elements are now grouped and this group is respecting the properties of these other boxes. And if we click on one of these boxes inside of the group, we can change the direction here independently of the rest of these elements. And again, now that this group is a sibling of these other boxes here, I can select the group or any of these boxes and change the justification here to match it evenly and that group is part of that justification. And now in addition to using Command G or Control G on the windows, you can also select one of these boxes and if you click and drag, we can swap the direction of where this box is inside of this group, but we can also place this on top of one of the other elements and as soon as we do that, those two get grouped inside of its own group. Now let's recap. To group elements you can use Command G or Control G on Windows or you can simply stack elements in a different direction than they are and they will be added to a group. Let's take a look at some real world examples where grouping might come in handy. We can see here at the top we have a navigation bar and we have a few elements that are making up this navigation but we can also see the layout needs to be adjusted. So we could very easily click inside of here and select one of the elements and let's change the direction from left to right and that's starting to look a little bit better and now we can change the justification here to be equally justified but we may want to have different spacing between the logo, the links, and the call to action button and now in order to do that let's just click on home features gallery pricing using shift click to select multiple and I'm gonna hold down command G or control G on the windows and now that groups everything together and now if I click inside into one of these elements here, I can use the same justification features to justify this independently of the rest. And so now that has its own spacing. And you can see that's starting to look a lot better. Now let's take a look at this hero image. We have a header text, subtitle, and a call to action button. And right now this is justified evenly, but we may want more control over the layout. So let's say we want these two pieces of text here sitting on the left and we want the learn more button sitting here on the right. Now it's important to think about the order that you group elements. For example, if I select this button and I just drag and drop this button over here to the right because I want that to sit at the right of this header text, we can see that it's grouping these two now and it's going to be a lot more difficult for me to get the layout that I want. So let's undo that first and first we need to group these two elements. So I'm going to hold down shift and select both of these elements and then I'm going to group these using the keyboard shortcut. And now if I click inside of here, I can change the alignment to be left aligned for this call to action and subtitle. And now we can grab this learn more button and stack this right to the right of this group. And if we justify this evenly now, it's starting to look a lot better here. Let's just resize this down a tiny bit. Now we have the footer, and we have the right elements, but we have the wrong layout, so let's update this layout. We can select this copyright text here, and we can always change where this is in the same group. So we can change the position of this, but we can't change the alignment independently. Now what you first might want to do is select this text. If you want this to be below the social icons, you might drag and drop this underneath one of the social icons, but as soon as you do that, because these aren't grouped, it's going to be underneath Facebook, but this is going to look a little bit weird, so let's undo that. And we want to make sure that we select these three icons first and group these because these are going to be the same direction, same justification. So let's change this real quick to be equally justified. And that's starting to look good, and then we just need to take our copyright text and now drag this below 
and it's going to drag it below that group. Now we can play with some sizes here, make it look really good, and we have a nice looking web page now.